हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू दिस नेक्स्ट वीडियो ऑन दी क्वेश्चन नंबर 33 एंड 35 फाइव विच पास आस इन दी आई टी जैम ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी मैथमेटिकल स्टडीज टेक्स भी वट इज़ द क्वेश्चन नंबर 33 थ्री इज यू कैन सी दैट दिस क्वेश्चन इज बिलोंग्स टू दी टू मार्क्स कैटेगरी सो यू कैन गेट अ टू मार्क्स वेन एवर इफ योर आंसर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन इज करेक्ट दिस इज रिलेटेड टू दी लेंथ ऑफ दी आर्क सिमिलरली इट इज अ क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी फाइव अगेन विच इज हेयर सो यू कैन सी आफ्टर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो यू वी गेट अ फोर मार्क्स अ वेरी सिंपल मैनर विद इन अ वन मिनट्स और टू मिनट्स टास्क आर देयर हाउ यू कैन सॉल्व दीज टू क्वेश्चन वन इज रिलेटेड टू दी आर्क लेंथ एंड सेकेंड इज रिलेटेड टू सम डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन आर देयर दैट्स अ वेरी वेरी सिंपल क्वेश्चन आर देयर एंड इट इज यूजली आस्क इन दी सेवरल ऑफ दी गेट एज वेल एज इन दी आई टी जैम्स एग्जामिनेशन सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद दिस वन हाउ यू कैन सॉल्व दिस टू here you can simply follow this link for finding this various previous year videos and myself is dr garg now what is the arc length what is the logic behind the arc length are there so you may remember that what is the arc length is this is the formula for this arc length this is dy by dx of here into this is here but you can see there here integration is with respect to x as well as with respect to y so one formula is here with respect to x and second formula is there you can write like of dx upon dy this is with respect to y so you have to apply both because it has more than one answer are correct now how you can find that this is how you have to find the arc length of this so let me firstly find this value of the dy by dx so what is the value of this y can be written as of this so what is the dy by dx it is nothing but my 1 by 2x now if you substitute the value of here but will the answer of this is 1 plus 1 by 2x root of 1 plus 2x so is there any answer of this you can see this is the right answer you can see other are there not be there whatever the limits are there but if you want to find the limits you can simplify these two limits are there you can see y square is my 2x y is my 2x so if you find the point of intersection it will be my 0 0 and it will be my uh, half comma 1 is there so you can see the first answer is my here now the second part you have to find with respect to the dy it means you have, you need to find the dx upon dy so from here can you find the value of the x instead of the y it is my here so what is the dx upon dy it is nothing but y so if you substitute the value here what is that this is nothing but my 1 plus y square of dy what is the limit of the y is my 0 to 1 so you can see this is also the right answer so this is the answer order so you will get a two marks a very simple manner with the help of these remember things are there so a and c are the correct option look at this uh, next question that's a uh, most important things are there this is usually asked in the uh, jam or the gate statistics are there so what is that you have to find the expected value expected expected and expect it means your target is to find the mean of this probability distribution so it means your target is to identify which one is the mean so you can see uh, the expected number of required to get the first success remember that any of the distribution which will depend upon the first success yes this is on the geometric distribution whenever there is a first success is a geometric distribution so the mean is always be the 1 by p so what is the p is my 1 by 5 so the what is the 1 by p is 5 it means this is the correct option what is the expected value in the first 50 trials it means the number of the experiments are finite whenever the number of the experiments are finite the distribution will be my binomial and you know what is the bino what is the mean of the binomial distribution is the mean of the binomial distribution is my np so what is the n is number of the experiments so experiment is my 50 what is the probability is given as a 1 by 5 so the answer is 10 again this is there so this is also be the right answer can third one is there expected number of the failures preceding the first success again this is the first success so again it is called as the geometric distribution so what is the mean of the geometric distribution is 1 by p but here is 5 but now we are talking about the failure so this is the value of the success because p 1 by 5 is the probability of the success so the mean of the success is my 5 and the failure will be my 5 minus 1 because the previous one is my 4 is there that's also true expected number of the trials required to get the second success so do you remember that when there is a more this is a first success geometric when it is a second success it is called as negative binomial so what is that negative binomial what is the mean of the negative binomial is r by p what is the r is uh, the second success here so r is my 2 p is my 1 by 5 so the answer is my 10 
this is also there so this is also there so all the four options are my correct options so that's the only way you can try to solve it so this is the uh, this is the required answers of these four options i hope you can simply learn this uh, with the help of the binomial or geometric or negative binomials you can see some another videos related to the distribution functions you can solve these 16 questions are there which may help you to uh, before entering into the, into the competition exam which will help you to understand these shortcut tricks for solving them till then we will see some more videos related to the iit jam in our next lectures best of luck students follow this link for finding the other videos thank you